Oh boy, where to begin where last we left our heroes? Well, uh, after the assassination of Garrick Brightscale at the hands of Asmo's former friend, brother, companion, Deus, uh, a bloody battle ensued that left both, uh, both serpent men bleeding, but uh, Asmo just a little bit worse for wear as he collapsed into unconsciousness as Deus made his escape. Twig arriving very swiftly on the scene, saved Asmo from the brink of death once more, and realized what had happened to Garrick. A presence stirring within Twig brought Twig to a sense of dread, despair, and eventually loss of control of her own uh, of their own body, as the spirit that had been residing within Twig takes over and went on a mission its own. At the same time, Wolfgang had gone out to. Uh, try to figure out exactly what was going on with the hands of the people uh, being led by one Xander Crowley. At this meeting he came to the real, uh, at this meeting he learned much about what has been going on around the city and the country, learning that uh, Barristan Kench is on the verge of starting a civil war to basically separate the entire burning empire of southern Marmaria to create his own little kingdom and uh, take advantage of the dragon's weakness at the moment. Uh, in the middle of this meeting, Twig burst in and held Xander at blade point to the throat where a new mysterious consciousness and voice coming from this armor revealed that Xander Crowley was the one responsible for pointing the dead eyes towards Wolfgang's grandfather and their inevitable exile from the city. Having learned this, Wolfgang uh, basically gave the go-ahead for who he assumed was T-Wig to finish off Xander Crowley, who died in a bloody mess on the floor. With all this going on, the remaining members of this cabal split, and Wolfgang was left to his devices to try to figure out what is exactly going on. Upon returning home, uh, he was greeted with a knock at the door, where he found Fezziwig Grinspire, Jester of Bordeaux, his gaunt face uh, pleading for help as Wolfgang drags him inside at gunpoint. You, uh, you have uh, Fezziwig standing before you at gunpoint. His face uh, seems very numb and empty. He, do he doesn't seem to care that you're pointing a gun directly at him as you have pulled him in. You've got a lot of nerve showing up here. I know what you are. Good, that makes this easier. What do you want? I need your help. I... I awoke... a few weeks back. I... I didn't know where I was. I was in some town just I don't know how long I hadn't been me I don't remember I don't remember much after we parted up north a few days went by a couple weeks maybe but I started losing track of time more and more I, the last thing I remember was traveling to Silver Rock. And then nothing. Silver Rock. Right. What happened there? I've, I've heard tales. Other bards. 
singing tales of a, a cat slaying a dragon. Not dead. Almost. It's just the jester's doing, though. Is it? Is it truly? I... I haven't heard his voice in weeks. I don't know what... what its plan was. But I'm... I... I fear for what I have done. I wanted to turn myself in. I, I want to know what happened. I want to know where I've been, what I've... what I've done. But... I fear if I turn myself in on my own, that I won't see a trial, that I won't see interrogation, that I will simply be executed on the spot. For what I've done, perhaps I deserve it. But I don't know. Maybe it's what it wants. It. You're speaking about the jester. The presence. The voice. It never left me. It never left me for moments since I... Since I joined it. But I've... I've been alone. Without it. And all I've had are my thoughts. My thoughts. I'm tainted, uncorrupted. It doesn't like you. Oh, no. The feeling's bloody mutual. I figured you'd be the safest person to come to, and when I saw you walking back from the palace, I... I knew I had to ask you. Jamat walks down the stairs. Oh, sir, I heard the door knock. He sees you pointing the gun straight at Fezziwig's face. Friend of yours, sir. Go upstairs. Hi. He, uh, walks back upstairs. I'd like to sort of inside him. Go for it. The big doll. Is Elliot barking in his sleep again. 24. I'm <laughs> trying to just trying to basically decipher his if if he's being genuine, if there's any spark of the Chester still left inside of him, if he's trying to trick me at all. You know better than to trust him without any doubt, but as you stare into his very uh, pretty face that's kind of be uh, kind of marred by this unkempt beard that he's been seems to have been growing over the past couple of weeks, there is a hollowness, a regretfulness in his eyes that leads you to believe that he thinks he's telling the truth. Whether or not he is being manipulated, you're not entirely sure, but you believe that he believes he is telling the truth. Wolfgang just sneers, his upper lip is curling into, like, a... gritting his teeth, and he's just like, fuck! And he puts away Requiem. I understand your trepidations, your reluctance. Do you? My cousin is dead. Bahum was almost killed. My friend, Denier, 
was possessed because of the machinations of that thing you created. He looks at you, uh, his, that, that, uh, hollow numbness in his eyes replaced with this spark of anger. I will take responsibility for everything I have done, but think not that I created that beast! I take Fine. responsibility for letting it loose on this land, though. Fine. Then you're gonna help me find it. How would you do that? You came to me, friend. I came to you to put me in the... to put me in some form of interrogation, to, to, to get these memories ripped from my mind, the ones that I can't see. You would have the connections to do that, would you not? Your name is known around here. You're a hero. If we can find out where he's been, what... What it has been planning, we might be able to stop it. He runs his hand through his goatee for a moment, just sort of like... thinking. Is, is Denier has been released at this point? You don't know. Or, uh, yeah, that's right. We don't know. I asked last night. Yeah, you, you were literally just at the palace asking about it. The palace is currently interrogating my friend Denier about what happened. I think if anybody in the land can extract those memories from you, it's them. I have lost my taste for interrogations. If you would escort me in, for lack of better words, vouch for me. I'll see what I'll see whatever justice they put me to afterwards. But the information is what's important now. You better not be lying to me. And I'll I'll stand up and I'll go to the door and motion for him to follow. He stands and follows you. I'll make my way to the castle. I'll I'll basically I'll I'll bind him before we leave. He just was. Do, he he doesn't argue and he doesn't uh, resist. Right, and I'll, I'll yeah, I'll walk him to the palace. All right, you walk him back up to the palace gates. Um, Yorick appears to uh, have been relieved by another guard as you approach the front gates to the palace. Oh, there! Yeah. Oh, Mr. Connolly! And, uh... Prisoner of sorts. An elf? I need about? to be let through immediately. This man has information. That is critical. Regarding... Our king. Right. Do, do, were the the guard the guards were informed on what happened to him, right? Uh, about what happened to the king. Yeah. You're not sure what information has been passed through, uh, but they've all heard tales about what happened in Silver Rock. I see. Uh, right this way, sir. He closes down the gate as he leads you up towards the palace. You're led past uh, a couple of different security checkpoints where they 
let you through, and you're led off into a uh, antechamber just uh, beneath the main palace, uh, palatial entrance, where you're. Uh, it, it seems to be a guard post of sorts. As uh, the guard that let you in leads you up to a uh, much larger mustachioed. Uh, it, like he's got a thick black mustache. Uh, he's wearing red and gold garb. Uh, full plate armor. Standing behind a desk as he stares at you. Hmm. What has it you have for me, somebody who knows what happened with the king and perhaps a little bit of information? Something like that. Name. Oh, cool. Green yeah. Spire. Fills out, uh, starts with his, like, massive, like, catcher's mitt size hand. Starts writing with his little dainty quill on a piece of parchment. Green Spire. Origin. The town of Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I ain't never heard of that place around here. Is there a new settlement? It's not in this country. I see. And what, pray tell, would this information pertain to? I believe I may have been involved in the attack. You believe you might have been involved? It's not... It's a very long and complicated story involving deities. Do you really wish for me to get into it? I suppose he'll get your story soon enough, sir. Any possessions? He uh, rolls out this sack on the table, and as like the uh, the stra or one of the flaps on the satchel opens up, and the mask flops out onto the table. Just these. You can see him kind of wince as the mask rolls out onto this desk and almost seems to stare up at him, directly at him. Just these. All right, we'll have these put away. He shuffles it back into the bag and gives it off to one of his stewards who rushes it off into another room. Detect magic real quick. Before he puts mm. it away in the bag. Uh, a lot of the articles in there, gloves, boots, mask, and, of course, his blade. The mask itself? Yes, the mask itself is magical. What school? Uh, Old. Let's see, the mask itself, I believe, is transmutation. Transmutation. Okay. Write that down. All right. We'll take him away for the chamber for processing, and uh, should his story clear out, we'll have to delve a little deeper, I suppose. As uh, he's being led away by a couple of guards... Fezziwig looks towards you, Wolfgang. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. He just sorrowfully kind of nods toward you as uh, one of the guards grabs him behind the head. Move on! Move on! That be all, Mr. Connolly. Well, since I'm here, have you released Denier Highwind? Let me check my log. He flips through uh, the pages. High wind, high wind, high wind. Yes, he was released a couple hours ago. What? Yeah, he was uh, set out through... Uh... Yeah, released by order of the Queen. Hmm. So he's probably off getting some rest. He was, uh, as far as I'm aware, in for some pretty deep interrogation. That is fair. 
Any idea where he went? It's not really my job to keep tabs after they leave now, is it? That's fine. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for the, uh, new bit of information. Thank him. And he points to where Fezziwig went to. And he just turns and walks. <laughs> Fuck chance of that. All right. You're now back out on the town. Hmm. And it's, it's later at night at this point, I'm assuming. Yeah, a lot of the places are starting to close up. Still some foot traffic out there, what people still remain, but uh, many of the shops are closing. The smoke coming out of the meat house has dimmed quite a bit. Uh, Wolfgang will... Hmm. About how far would it be to, uh... Oh, I guess he doesn't want to see me at this point. <laughs> um... Fuck. Wolfgang will just go home. Alright. Yeah, he'll wait in the morning and he'll probably let Denier rest and then look for him in the morning. Right, you Screw go you home guys. and you get I'm some rest. Home. Asmo, you kind of already passed out in a bit of a It's one of those one of those he has the whiskey bottle in his hand kind of sleeps. Yeah. Mm. Uh Denier, being the one who was the first to fall asleep that night, uh you awaken uh in your in your bed in your quarters in the Whistlestein Spire. Mm-hmm. Now, since I went to bed super early, I assume that it's super early whenever I woke up, correct? You're also making up for several days of not sleeping. But yeah, yeah, you're you're waking up just slightly after sunrise. Mm. In fact, it's the sun kind of peeking in through your window between your shades that kind of awakens you. I am going to try something. I'm not sure that it's going to work, given the time, but I'm going to give it a shot. Denier casts Dream. All right. In your uh, morning stupor, you feel like this is almost as good as doing a little uh, slap of the snooze button. Mm -hmm. You put yourself in a bit of a <laughs> trance, and you cast I... Dream. I attempt to connect to Barristan Kinch. Oh, God. Okay. Barristan Kinch. Interesting. All right. Let me roll something. If he's asleep or not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. He's, he's normally a pretty early riser. Yeah, unfortunately, this uh, spell does not work for right now. Okay. Figured. Denier takes note of it. And he will cast Sending, suspecting that Jamat is the first up. He casts Sending to Jamat. All right. What would you like to tell Mr. Atson? Good morning, Jamat. I've been released. Please let Wolfgang know I will meet him at the meat house. Uh, you hear back, what the devil? Oh, hello, Denier. Good to hear from you, sir. Glad, uh, glad you're out and about. I'll let Mr. Connolly know. With that, Denier gets up, collects his supplies. Let's see, who would he need to do? He will go to the meat house and he will meet, he will wait for Wolfgang. And he will bring along a little, some of his supplies with him to the meat house. All right. You make your way down to the meat house. Uh, Asmo, you awaken to the smell of cooking, uh, of uh, percolating coffee. As you've mm. basically fallen asleep downstairs in the, in the study area. Ugh, his eyes are just red. Like bloodshot. Duh. 
And <laughs> as as you uh, as you're awakening, you just hear Jamat go, "What the devil? Oh, time is it? After what time is it? You. Oh, sir, little past sunrise, sir." Mm. Shakes his head, just roll. Asma just shakes his head, rolls over, goes back to sleep. No, no, no. <laughs> you hear a little clank on the uh, table next to you. As you hear his tiny footsteps start to walk up the stairs. There's a clank. He looks over. There is a nice pipe, uh, pipe and fresh hot glass of coffee there for you. A cup of coffee there for you. Asmo just stays there. He grabs his hand and grabs the table and pulls the table closer to him. And just doesn't move. And then the tongue, his giant snake tongue just slides out to the to the cup. Just it's like light, light dabs without moving. You know, just every morning for me, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Wolfgang, you're awoken to a knock at your door. Oh. <clears throat> All right, I'm up, I'm up. Coffee for you, sir. Thank you, Jamal. He opens the door and sets the little tray down at your bedside table. Got a message from Mr. Denier. He, uh, said he'd meet you over at the meat house as soon as you were ready. So I did, did away with breakfast and just went with coffee. Great. That's great. Thank you, Jamal. Uh, sir, I didn't really want to press last night with everything that's been going on, but that gentleman that showed up. What about him? Seemed like you had a little bit of history, sir. It's, if it's none of my business, I can... I'm just concerned is all, sir. It'll be fine, Jamont. At least I hope it will be. As we do have his. We have history, somewhat, but more I have history with something he's related to, and he asked a lot of me last night, and that's why the firearm was drawn. Well, I'm always certain you have your reasons, sir. I'll leave you to it. I'll uh, go see the prepare and master Elliot's breakfast. Thank you. Of course, sir. As he bows his head and gives you a nice, warm, fatherly smile as he closes the door to let you prepare for your day. <sighs> All right. Yep. Wolfgang gets dressed and he'll go retrieve Asmo. Uh when he's ready. As you walk downstairs, you see Asmo has basically lapped up a good half of his cup of coffee and is just kind of like stretching his neck to get his tongue further into the cup. He's still mostly asleep. <laughs> you ever see someone like try and sip a cup of coffee half like while it's side while they're lying on their side? He's got their mouth open wide to try and pour it in on an angle. Sorry, this is every day for me. I'm serious, guys. I I, I struggle to wake up. <laughs> Uh, Asmo just like you know gets his finally starts like tries to get up and just goes. Uh, 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 you looking at Wolfgang? Looking at looking at you. Uh, by the way, Jamont, Elliot, and Asmo all gain nine temporary hit points. All right, that's an extra healthy plump baby. Some baby, really, really, really baby's got a lot of HP. Big baby, he's fat. <laughs> Big fat baby. This fat son of a bitch. I'll, I'll keep Elliot's HP noted in case somebody decides they they have beef with him. How dare you? Well, have the other kids the in the yard. Get beef with that baby. Heard your mom was a werewolf. Yeah. You don't take kindly to werewolves. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Asmo, you're awake, and Wolfgang, you're, uh, you're up and dressed. And everybody feels slightly healthier than usual. 
Yeehaw. Yeah. As was just like kind of by like as was just kind of sitting like sitting outside in the front lawn of Wolfgang's place, drinking his coffee. The mayor left a message for us last night. Oh Jesus! Don't yell, please. What do you have to say? He's out of interrogation, and he'll meet us at the meat house. Oh my God! Okay. Okay, let's go to the meat house. Let's go there. Let's go to that meat house. Just sort of squint at you for a second. <laughs> Legit, imagine being just so profoundly hungover and like, hey, let's go to the place that serves nothing but large hunks of meat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, Wolfgang, put rest of hand on your shoulder and I cast a lesser restoration. <laughs> your hangover is cured. The hangover part zero. As but Asmo still feels hungover, but he's not. That soul feels hungover. Oh, that oh Nick, I hate how good that is. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys start to make your way out to the meat house. Denier, you arrive pretty early after getting all your stuff squared away inside like in the spire. Good deal. You're greeted by uh, a pig who is just kinda opening up today. Oh, morning, cat man. Good morning, pig. It's good to see you after so long. You speak quite a bit, ain't it? Yeah, I got something for you. Shout for pig? Yeah. Something rare for pig. Oh, the near takes all things with... if he's raising up. The near pulls out his bag, pulls uh, a rather large cloth wrapped package. He sets it on a table near Pig, begins to open it up, and he shows some of the preserved elephant meat that he got. This here is from the Great Sand Sea, far to the west across the mountains. This here's elephant. Yeah. Holy feet. And he, he, I will... he, he lifts it, he lifts up the slab of meat and just kind of like, gets his face like within an inch of it and just takes a big whiff, just... <sighs> That's, uh, that's fresh right there. And Denier, uh, minor images in his hand, a, a small image of an elephant. This is what they look like. Oh, something so small made this. Ah, this is just a small representation. They're about 20 feet tall, 10 feet long. And they can crush a man with their feet. You can see calculations kind of like, you know that meme with all the math around the head? You can see that kind of going off. It's as big it's as big as your building, pig. He looks behind him. Whoa. A lot of meat from those things. Saw this, thought about you. Well, thank you. Tell you what, today, whatever you sold is on the house. On pig. Well, I appreciate that, pig. I could use a good meal. It's been a hell of a last few weeks. Want some elephant? Sure. I ain't never learned how to cook no this. This will be fun. He runs back, and you you just hear him, like, trudging through, like, a bunch of pans and stuff getting knocked out of the way as he walks back into the kitchen area. I trust you, pig. As he wanders away, you can see Asmo and Wolfgang wandering down the, uh, wandering down the terrace. Denier looks up, he places his shaking hands into his lap, trying to get them to stop. As he tries to force the tired look from his face as they're approaching. Uh, actually, uh, would you mind if I roll a uh, deception for that? Go for it. That's a 16. All right, anybody who wants to roll an insight into Denier can tell whether or not he is tired as fuck. We'll certainly do that. He was looking to see how he was doing anyway. Uh, 16. Yeah, as you uh, as you approach, you can see Denier kind of like put his shaky hands beneath the table and try to pick himself up, but you you saw just for a moment the, what he was uh how he looked before he noticed you.
And walking you guys arrive at the and, table. Yeah, walking a walk up and pat his shoulder. How you doing today? I'm. He looks up and gives a little bit of a smile. I'm all right. How about you two? We're, uh... We need to talk. I don't like those words. You're gonna hate to hear how my night was then. Wolfgang sort of just sits down in his chair and looks at Denira. You know, we don't have to do this now if you want to rest. We can do it whenever. Um, I I don't know what we're doing next, but I've got some plans. Um, but we can do this whenever. I gave Pig some of the elephant meat that we got across across the wall. No oh, shit. You kept yeah. that. Yeah. I traded for it. Traded some of the Salt that I got, some of the pepper I got up north, traded it to the orcs over at Dam Hammer, got the elephant meat, and I gave it to Pig. And apparently our meal's on Pig today. He's cooking it right now. Hmm. I'm not that hungry. But, a little bit exotic, but... Okay, he points over at Asmo. Who are you and what have you done with Asmo? No, man. I, I I don't even know where he's at right now, man. I don't know where. If Garrick's alive or dead. I'm too scared to find out. Because if he is dead, I mean, I gotta, I gotta tell his, I mean, his brother's gonna find out. And I don't know if I should tell him or... I think he already tell knows. To... Fuck. Wow. What happened to him? Uh, Asma relays what happens to both of them with more of a calm demeanor with no rise of voice or holding back of rage that was in the previous time he told Wolfgang. Okay. He says it very matter-of-factly. Asma relays the scene uh, remembering the face of Garrick uh, as Tewig flipped him over and you saw that straight blade slash right across his eyes. And that's why um, Nasmo, he, when he says Deus, he just says it with a shake in his voice, but doesn't go into detail about Deus. Is that he knew him, the man who did this, and that's all he really conveys at that point. Mm. I get it. We got by one, so they sent another one, huh? I don't, I don't think that's related. I don't know. But when I find Deus, he's mine, dude. He's mine. Doesn't even, doesn't even just looks at both of you. He's mine, and you see, like, a certainty in his eyes. Looking kind of nods. In your knowing nods. that. Knowing that feeling. Having felt it before. The reason I say that and sort of brings the, the, like two fingers towards him, they lean in. I think Xander Crowley was the one who ordered the hit on Garrick. Excuse me. Because he's the one who ordered the hit on my grandfather. Xander Crowley put the hit on Garrick. It's a theory at this point. You see a lot. Above game, did Xander die? I'm trying to remember if he died last session. You don't know. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, fucker. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, sorry, I get to two of the guys a little bit iffy there, so there we go, okay. Um, and he's... Xander Crowley's gone then, huh? Just sort of blinks at him. Mm. 
Fine. But he Don't gives you that gives you that knowing look. Doesn't actually say anything. Then there's only one person who needs to pay for it. Only one. Maybe I'm a bit hungrier now. Uh, just curious. More. Where's Tiwig? I was yeah, about I was, to get to that. Well, where it, like I wanted to, I wanted to explain what happened last night to him, but he hasn't been able to see it, her Tiwig anywhere. What do you mean, explain it? Wolfgang looks around briefly. Detect magic. What? Um, nothing in the general vicinity seems to be particularly magical. Except for the normal gear that you guys are wearing. Okay. t the one who did it, man. t did what? Crowley. Well, hot damn. I never knew t had it in them. There's the thing, though. I don't think it was the t that we know. Something Asmo, was different. A Asmo squints to that. What, what do you mean, different art? What? What? Voice, mannerisms, general attitude. Can one of you do your magic thing to find out where the hell t is then? I tried, but... They dimension door away. What the hell? Are you, what? As well, slams, That's a, like, like, slams his hands down on the table. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> dimension door is not a druidic spell. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's purely spells. in the arcane realm. What the I hell? Don't... At the same I don't time, Tiwig had that weird. Uh... Cape of Leaves, we don't know what and all that thing does. That might have been able to give Tiwig some abilities that we don't know about. No. That's di different. I I was the one who gave them that. I don't think it does. I don't think it has that capability. I don't know. Best thing I can do is probably message Tiwig, but... Tiwid doesn't sleep, so I won't be able to walk into their dreams. I think... I think your sending spell would have to do it for that one, but... Tiwig is missing. And I don't think it's our Tiwig anymore. I don't know if we should go looking for them, or... What, but I know that there is more that we need to do. And I don't know if we can waste time looking for them. Yeah. Ramsey just <sighs> needs help. Definitely. We need to see about Bahum getting back on his feet first and foremost. The, the city is going to hell, and now that Crowley is gone, it's going to be even worse. The second I hear any hint of Deus, I want you to know right now that if it doesn't put either of you in direct danger, I'm going for it. I don't... Fuck. I have to tell you this shit. That's what just kind of looks down. It should be pretty obvious that I know him. The one who did what he did to Garrick. You said as much. And you know I'm... grew up... in the alleys of this city. Cutting purses and... hustling people. Running with a gang. You gotta do that to stay strong. When you got no family, you gotta find your own family, right? It's pain in his face. Deus was one of those. I found neither of us really had names, so we came up with it off of a story. As with Deus, the, the demon snake. Some story a long time ago, and 
we thought it was a and we thought it was really cool as kids, so we split the name in half because we were a duo. As Mo and Davis. And we stayed together for a long time. Ran our own gang, but it was okay, but we got an opportunity. Came knocking for the dead eyes the most influential gang there is with the best money. You work for them, you make that money. You're tough, you're respected. So we agreed. We agreed on the location. We agreed to go to their meeting. Their initiation event and there were only me and Davis found that odd. You know, you'd think they'd have a big collection of them all, right? But only two people. And I uh, couldn't tell who said it. It was the guy who was in charge of it. He threw a knife on the ground. I said first person to win joins the gang. I ain't playing that. That's crap. Turned it a brother against a brother. That's crap. No. Walk straight away from that. That I didn't like that. I'm all for dog eat dog, but I don't think it's necessary to force dogs to eat each other if there's no reason. You know, I've been rolling with Deus my whole life, it felt like. And he turned to walk away. And he turned too, but I thought he was still turning, but all I didn't realize that he didn't turn all the way until I felt the knife in my back. And the slash straight up. They left me in the ground. I was in shock. And he... All I remember him saying was... To those guys was... That good enough? And then they said almost... And he stomped down on the knife. And that's the last I had ever seen of him. Until last night when he killed my friend. So I mean this. I mean this right now that my mission in life is to gut him like a fish as slowly as possibly. Because that is twice that piece of shit has taken a brother away from me. I'll do whatever's necessary. You know me. I feel like I've been living on borrowed time for a long ass time, but just know me right now that my one singular thing is to make sure that that man, a fiend, loses his other eye and then his life. I'm fucking hungry. When is when is Pig getting here? That's <laughs> what so just turns and looks away. You see him like his his hands are like white knuckling. If a if a if a if a black scaled snake could white knuckle. As you uh, say that, from out of the kitchen, or out of the uh, smokehouse itself, or the meat house itself, Pig is walking with this. It looks like a statue carved of meat to look like an elephant. The same one that Denier, you showed him. Uh, it is perfectly cooked. It, it looks fried, actually. Like a tempura elephant baby is just standing on this platter. There we are! <laughs> one elephant! Slams it on the table. Flap! Aswell pulls out a knife and fork and very carefully cuts a small piece and eats it like a gentleman. As uh, you cut in, the juices just explode from the inside and, like, leak all over the part that you are cutting into. Uh, what part do you cut into of this uh, tempura elephant? I don't... Nick, I have no goddamn Choose idea. Choose a body part. I want to cut into its, its, its ass. Its wonderful rump. It is stuffed with cheese. Yes. Like, a, like an elephant Juicy Lucy. I'm actually hungry. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Happy 420, Taka. No, I... What? What do you do? What, dude? I haven't had proper lunch yet. 
<laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Wink. No, I ha dude. I'm serious here. Nick, you're Apparently the one. Elephant meat tastes Enjoy like your meat. elephant ass cheese. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? Come get some of this cheese, Denier. Let's stop the seriousness and just just, just shove our mouth full of elephants. You've outdone yourself, pig. Oh, you try. He wipes his face with his arm. Ah. <laughs> uh. I will not know how to describe the taste of elephant as I have never tried elephant before. Uh, apparently, it's described as unpleasant and peculiar. It is a peculiar <laughs> taste that goes very interestingly with the very funky cheese you decided to stuff it with. This feels like something that is way too expensive. This tastes odd and peculiar. I'm glad you like it. It's a little bit course it reminds me a little bit of the the roasted boar that we used to have back home and some sources ta taste like spam what spam mm -hmm. this apparently <laughs> now, I'm, Denier's gonna dig and he's been eating nothing but trail rations for about three or four weeks now yeah, he's digging into this elephant. All right, you guys, you guys consume that tempura elephant in all its spammy glory. Various bits of the elephant are stuffed with different things. The nose, uh, the trunk, is filled with uh, various sausage cuts. <laughs> the body is stuffed with cheese and potato. Oh my god! Wow, this is. <laughs> No, pick got oh excited. My God. I, I, I'm just waiting to know that like there's like a horse inside, and it turns out that you've turned duck into this. <laughs> <laughs> El horseow. <laughs> we start with a blue whale. We... <laughs> yeah, we take a blue whale, we stuff an elephant in the blue whale. In the Ooh. elephant, we have stuffed a buffalo. In that buffalo, we've stuffed the fox I give. All of them. Every single Ooh. one. And in those fucks, a fox. Ooh. Ooh. The fox fox. Yeah. A fox foxin, we call it. I mean, it's dumb. Show the car dumb. fox. Like, I'm trying to be serious, Nick, and, like, come down from that seriousness, and you're giving me this right now. What the hell? I know. It's called juxtaposition. No. <laughs> so, I, I sympathize with you greatly as a monk. But you came to me very much on the brink of death. You didn't see what I did to him. And I only was like that because he got the drop on me a second time. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me once, shame on him. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, that won't be happening. Never get fooled again. Never get fooled again. I George Bushed it. I'm sorry, dude. I, <laughs> God damn it. That was a good line, and I George Bushed it. I, I understand once, why he had... Three times, a lady. Three, three times. Three times of jape. Three times of jape. Denier slowly looks over towards Wolfgang. That was Elliot, by the way. Sort of cocks a brow a little bit and just nods. He's good. Um, he's learning. He's starting to speak full sentences now. Crazy to think he's only two. He's two. <sighs> We've been at this a long time. Yeah, when this is all over, I'm done, I think. I'm retiring early. He's, uh, he's strange. Although I'm sure you experienced that firsthand. Looks pointedly at Denier. Yep. Yep, sure have. 
knocked me right out of my chair. That kid's going to be strong. Be I think strong. he's already fairly strong. He apparently healed a ages-old scar on Jamat just by touching him. Sounds like he's a chip off the old block after all. I've... I can heal wounds, but... It takes quite a deal to do that. Closest thing that I've seen to it is those hot springs up in Steamy Springs. Huh. Yeah. Takes another bite of elephant. Crunch. This one had something crunchy inside of it. Yeah. Pleasant, though. Oh. Don't take this personally, Wolfgang. I can't go back to your house. Not anymore. Why? I can't be around Elliot anymore. Why? Then your leans forward slowly. What's been following me? It's still following you? Haven't heard from it since yesterday, but he's been talking to me a fair bit when I was with Tia. In your stops and thinks for a second. Come to think of it. I didn't have any dreams last night. He tilts his head a little bit and he starts looking real perplexed. You know, I still have my detect magic on. I'm not sensing anything like around or behind him. Am I? Nothing particular. Denier, <laughs> as you're looking around, you start looking at the city and for brief moment you see a flash you see people running and screaming you see the city on fire you see the buildings burning you see rocks crumbling from the sky and then back to normal denier closes his eyes tight gripping gripping his hand over his face <clears throat> denier enough tia I've had enough of this. Let me out. Is he saying this in his head or saying this out loud? He's saying it out loud. Asma just <laughs> sits up and looks at him. What? Um. He opens he, from behind his hand. A single eye opens up. It's it looks like he's on the borderline to breaking. <laughs> Still not detecting any magic? Um, no. Nothing that's I been think... cast on him or nothing around him that isn't his equipment. I think I just realized something. <laughs> You're not real. Neither of you are real. She still got me in that trap. I just saw the entire city flash just a second ago. <laughs> the fuck are you on about? <laughs> Aswan kicks him in the leg. Like, like, just, like, hard. Aswan just kicks him hard in the leg. Like, what the hell are you on about, dude? Just, like, right. stomp. Denier, uh, you take one damage. Arquito, I take one damage. I will low kick you to submission. I keep doing <laughs> low kicks. Shit, he's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I I'm haven't cast any adoration spells. I don't have Arcane Ward up. Yes, yeah, so you got kicked he, in the shit. He goes down. <laughs> ow, 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 meow. No. No, you need to get one meow, damage. Cow. When he gets kicked, his eyes focus on, on Asmo. But he has a big, almost manic smile on his face. Hey, Asmo, take it easy. Denier. We're real. Thanks. We're here. 
<laughs> I said that's what I thought yesterday. Nobody talked to me on the way out of the palace. Not even the guards looked at me. I saw nobody in town I didn't dream last night. And now the world is shifting. The world is twisting. Fires burning. People screaming. No. I never left the interrogation. This is all one big plot by Tia. <laughs> Take his take his hand. My, his hand is shaking violently. I I put it on my chest. Denier, you can touch me. I'm real. And I could touch that thing. That thing behind me I could hear, I could smell. It could touch me. And Lanny, with your permission, um, I would like to try to roll a will save to try to get control of myself. Go ahead. Go ahead and try to go do a wisdom save here. 17. You After close... a couple seconds, uh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. You close your eyes, you shake your head, you try to snap yourself out of it, you slam your head against the table. You take five points of bludgeoning damage and you bring yourself up with a bloody nose. And, uh, panko and crusted fur. Uh, places his hand over his face, his hand violently shaking at the moment. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. What the bloody hell did they do to you in there? I'm, I'm tired of everything, Wolfgang. I'm tired of walking through oceans of blood. I'm tired of having that thing whispering into my ear, trying to get me to give in. I'm tired of everything turning to shit in my hands and trying to do it with a smile on my face. I'm tired of these interrogations. I'm tired of sitting in jail cells. I, I want it to be over. I think I'm starting to understand why Arkanos left this place. And he goes quiet after that. Eventually, his hands, the shaking slows down, but they don't fully stop. They say he left to save his people. You hear the familiar voice of Inariel behind you, who is uh, standing there, realizing that she's uh, super not supposed to be a part of this conversation, but uh, was on her way to try to make an audience with you. Denier slowly looks up. Yeah. But it was also the treatment of the Arcana Nate up north. He was not happy with them. Looks over towards Wolfgang. I spoke to him. That's why the North is frozen over. A bit of a goodbye present to those that would treat his creation so cruelly. I, uh, he motions towards uh, the chair for Vernario. Um, it seems like you all have a lot going on right now. I just wanted to stop by to let you know that the preparations are being made to ensure the king's recovery and um mr connolly you uh you have been requested to make an audience i um i have 
much preparation I need to do. There's a lot of commotion, and I'm not sure if any of you have heard, but Mr. Crowley was found dead last night in his study. You should be careful. There might be... There might be a serial killer about. Mm. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, we'll Venario. How does well. he kill? How does the serial killer kill? Well, between what happened to Lord Crowley and the sorcerers that have been going missing, it's hard to say. But this town is feeling less and less safe. I just wanted to impart that to you. We'll do the best I, we I, can to get things back in working order. I should I should be going. She nods her head and just kind of frantically begins walking away. Denier, your face is still kind of starting to get matted with blood from your nose. I'm, doing, I'm gonna try to wipe it away. And all I get is just blood and sand from my fur. And uh elephant yep. juice and panko. Yep. I'll I'll go ahead and I'll I'll just like press the digi press the digitation denier clean him up a little bit. Never quite getting all that sand though. That that sand it's it's in there deep, man. You'll be finding it for months. And with that, uh, we're going to let you guys ruminate as you finish off your elephant meal, and we are going to take a quick break. Hey guys, Lanny here. If you're liking what you're watching, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really helps me feel the love for this series. And if you want to catch us live, feel free to hit us up on twitch.tv slash Lanny Mondays at 5 o'clock Central Time. Thanks for rolling with me. Now let's get back to the action. All right, so you guys have finished up your uh, tempura elephant with various stuffings. It was an interesting meal. Uh, Venariel has let you know, Wolfgang, that your uh, presence has been requested at the palace. Uh, I assume that means that the others are more than welcome as well, but you were the one that they sent this missive to. Denier is still <laughs> recovering from his episode. Hmm. I won't ask you to go with me, but you're welcome to come along. Why are they wanting you up there all of a sudden? I don't know. Well, actually, I do. Fuck. Right. Got sidetracked a little bit. Uh, there's one more thing I needed to tell you all. Guess who visited me last night? Who? No telling. Fezziwig. Did you kill him? I thought about it. Oh, he didn't think too hard and did it. I was seconds away from it, but... He made a compelling case. Let's put it that way. He told me... That the jester itself is locked away some of his memories. He hasn't felt its presence in a while. How long? I think he said a couple months. A couple weeks. A couple weeks. Wolfgang, do you still have that journal I left for you? I do. Do you have it on you? He pulls it out. All right. Sets it on the table. Denier takes it and begins flipping it open. Going back to what he remembers as the first entry from the book. Look at this. I believe, I believe that's still in your uh, entry. It is. There, journal, Jester's book, entry one. 
All right, look at this. It says that it's been a few days since he's made a pact with the entity tied to his grandfather's sword. What if he had a meeting of an entity the same way that I've been meeting Red? And you said it was a couple weeks that he left? A couple weeks. How long has Red been following me? A couple of weeks. Denier closes the book. It's quite possible that the reason why it stopped following the Jester of Bordeaux, or excuse me, the reason why the Jester of Bordeaux has stopped following Fezziwig is because he started following me. What? He's been whispering things to me. During the fight with Vander, during the fight with Vessa, every few seconds he was pleading with me to accept his aid. That he needed me, that he did not want me to die, that if I didn't accept his help, all of you would die. But... Arkanos has assisted me by bolstering my willpower. And I was able to resist the urges. I think the reason why, if it is, because it's one of two things. Either... Wait. Where is he right now? Being interrogated, I imagine. And his face goes pale. So you let him in the palace. I took him there myself. Wolfgang, what else is in the palace? Bahum. And? Goddamn jewel! The gems! The goddamn gems! Either A, either A, Fezziwig is telling the truth and he wants to find out what's going on, or B, he was bullshitting you the entire time just to get to the rest of those damn gems. I thought about that. But I saw it in his eyes. Oh, dear God, dude. Don't, please don't tell me you based your decision off a man's eyes. I lost one. That has nothing to do with the price of chickens. As Mo. It was more than just his fucking eyes. He was gaunt. Emaciated. Looks like he had been wandering the streets for weeks. Like something fundamental in him had changed, had been lost. Let's go. As much as I hate to do it, to go back to that place, if Fezzy we can potentially the jester of fucking Bordeaux is involved, I have to go. But I will tell you this. Didier gives a little bit of a grin. I've got a, I've got plans. I'm about to make our friend Barristan Kinch's life a living nightmare. Asmo, That's tell me if you reason. want me to do the same with Deus. Can you repeat that? I kind of, you cut out a little bit on my end. I apologize. It's okay. I'm about to make Barristan Kinch's life a living nightmare. Asmo, let me know if you want me to do the same to Deus. With a goddamn smile on my face, I want you to. <laughs> Good, I'll need some information from you. But I think we can do this. Tell me, is Deus, do you know if Deus is strong of will? He is. Might be difficult then. Oh. But we'll see if, uh, 
we'll see if a, of a particular friend of mine can give assistance. Somnium Vagus. I think it's about time that Deus and Kench meet, my friend. And Denir stands up and he starts to walk towards the palace. All right. You last start making your way towards the palace. Making our way downtown. Yep. Walking fast. All right, speed walking to the palace. But with big drum. Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, on the way there, uh, you make it to the gate. Uh, once again, Yorick is not at the post that he's usually at. You're led inside as you've been inspect uh, expected. Uh, Asmo actually wants to see if he can see Garrick's brother before we get in. I was going to mention I, that. The post that you usually see him at, uh, the gentleman at the uh, first post where Yorick is normally standing would let you know that uh, he's been given uh, some personal leave due to uh, a recent loss of uh, his family. Uh, Asmo would like to convey to this person that I want to see him. As soon as possible. As soon as he feels he is ready. Uh, well, uh, I suppose if you... Uh, he's looking to settle affairs of the matter. Uh, you'd probably be able to find him at his brother's place or maybe the forge that he runs. Sorry, what was that? You'd probably be able to find Mr. Yorick, Mr. Brightscale. Uh, you'd probably be able to find him at his brother's place settling affairs. Or if you go to the uh, Brightscale Forge over in Guildhammer, mm -hmm. you'd probably be able to find him there. Alrighty. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Head on up. Uh, you're let in and set into the normal antechamber where you usually find yourself before a meeting with the dragons. And upon entering the throne room, uh, you find both Tia and uh, Horesh in attendance. As you enter, they turn to see you standing at the left and right hand side of the throne as per usual. Hmm. All three of you made it. Where's T. Wig? Million we dollar question. Know. They went missing last night. Unfortunately. I haven't been able to search them down. Well, if you need any aid from us, we will offer anything we can. Uh, to which Horace responds, not like it's much these days. He still has his uh, eye patch. Hmm. He, lo he notices you also missing an eye, Asmo. Hmm. You look like you've been through hell. Asmo didn't even respond to him. Asma's in a bad mood. <laughs> her race seems to be in his, a, a uh, grumpier mood, even for him. Oh boy, this is going to end famously. Denier God. actually looks over towards her When you have a moment, I think I've got something that might prove of interest to you. He looks at you with, like, a bit of a sneer at first, uh, at, at which point Tia just kind of, like, elbows him in the side. I would be happy to hear it. Denier, um, I'd like to cast an illusion spell. I would like both of your permissions in order to do so. Tia just looks at, uh, they look at each other and they both just kind of nod. Whatever, proceed. Denier casts Major Image, and before Horatio, he creates the cannon. He walks over towards it. 
we encountered walks up to it as well. We encountered this over in the Great Sand Sea. It's able to take, uh, say, a twenty-five pound ball of lead, and with the use of gunpowder, launch it about five hundred meters. Hmm. We used it during the middle of a battle in Damhammer, and it actually proved fairly useful against uh, troops. I could see that you could put these on uh, fortifications. You could even put these in ships. Um, that might assist you with some of the trading down south and securing up some supply lines down south. Not to need mention... A of, need a lot of steel for something like this. You would? Unless we could find something, unless you could find something else that could uh, switch out the metallic components of it. Hmm. Simply an idea. I came uh, across it. Thought it'd be right up your alley. Protect we'll have the to see where we can allocate resources, but it could be an interesting weapon. But I've got another project in the works at the moment. Of course. Always trying to do my part to protect my protect the land I call home. And he snaps his fingers, and the cannon disappears before he steps back behind the others. wanted to thank you for uh, trying to make all this right. He looked at you. He, say, he says this looking at you, Denier. Denier gives a nod. I regret that I had to flee like I did, but it's hard to atone for one's actions even though they weren't your own by sitting in a jail cell. True That's enough, why I, I gave suppose. myself up right off the bat. And the incident with Kench. Not done dealing with him yet. No. And I suppose uh, the rest of you for your efforts in assisting my brother. I did what I could to repay. He'll be happy to know that Amber Glade is still out of that bastard's reach. What a fall will borrow. At the moment, still independent. It's our one link to the north, and he is... He's amassing troops. That's why I came back. You should know. I made personally sure that the ties to his god was severed. The god of war, Vander, is dead. That might explain the expediency of his latest actions. If I can be of help, let me know. I'm more than happy. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Tia clears her throat. <clears> throat> Wonderful as this military strategy meeting is, this is not why you were called here. Right, we are discussing your brother. Yes, the preparations are being made to restore him to his former self. All of the pieces are in place. There's just a few ceremonial preparations that need to be made. Mr. Connolly, information has come to light that you are withholding an article from us. Slowly raises an eyebrow. A gem. One that was recovered in the West. Hmm. <laughs> Chop to I... meet the sate. Oh, no. <laughs> I believe. Uh, With all due respect, hope... Lady Tia. If all the pieces are brought together, we don't know what would happen if they come together. It's no, best and to, to be perfectly them. frank, remain safe and hidden. You don't need to worry about them all being brought together. And the parcel why? has been moved. They won't find themselves all together. How? Horace step. He Horace steps towards you. 
I moved them myself. And we have another parcel being set to be delivered as part of an agreement to the North. They will hold on to a parcel of them as well. If it would make you feel comfortable, you can oversee that transportation as well. Mm. I could probably get there faster. No. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> no. Mm, okay. Good counter argument. <laughs> good, good point. Good point. Valid. Valid. Very no, I, valid. I understand what he means. He doesn't want me anywhere near the gyms just as much as I don't want to be anywhere that, near the gyms myself. You were always quick to pick things up. My perceptiveness has kept me alive up to this point. But that does leave the question of the one that you have uh, hidden and withheld. I've withheld it for very good reasons. I'm sure your reasons to you are very good, but... No! Don't say to you, you want us to work with you. It's important in general, even if our opinions disagree. Forgive me for being so direct. You have to forgive me. A good friend of mine died last night. I heard about Mr. Brightscale. You did. That's great. Thanks yes. for hearing about it. I As just crosses what... his arms like the biggest prick. Horatio is like he he's he's about to step to you, but Tia just kind of holds him back with a hand. I understand you are feeling great sorrow right now. We went we all the way. We went all the way across this world twice for you. I would hope the dragons of your wisdom and time on this planet Earth. On this planet, this land we find ourselves in, would know that we intend the best possible outcome. And even though one of us had a problematic problem, he has gone out of his way to correct it. So know that when we keep hold on to this gemstone, it's just like your plan a safeguard. One. More step. You know where it is, but it's not nearby. And if someone comes for it, we could be warned. So I want you to know I take this very seriously because I don't want that. I don't want the gemstone to be hacked, <laughs> like my account. Yeah, no, no. I mean, more three, more three factor, uh, more three factor acquisitions. Authentication, yeah. More of a, and that's uh, that's and that's all Asma really says. Additionally. We know that that particular gem was linked with what we believe to be a spirit of the Bleeding God. We All want to make sure... the reason that we wish to know where it is and how secure it is, if there is a consciousness attached to it. Wherever you may have it hidden, do you believe it to be more secure than this palace? With all of our guards, with all of our arms, with every ward we have set in place, do you believe that the place that you have it hidden is safer? If you there is a know. consciousness attached to this gem, what's to stop it from affecting those around it? Exactly. He points towards the empty throne. For your sake, Mr. Connolly, I hope you don't have it where you keep your loved ones. It's safe. And so are my loved ones. You've done much for this kingdom. You've done much for me, for my family. As a sign of trust, if you truly believe that this is for the best, then I will lead it in your hands. 
Just know that this is a matter of great concern to all of us. And should something go wrong, I'm afraid some of that blame would lay at your feet. I've been prepared for that for a long, long time. So when do we start with the home? The preparations are being made now. Our ceremony shall take place within the fortnight. One particular piece is rather delicate to handle. We have many of our mages, our top mages, working around the clock to make sure that all things go well. But soon. It shall all be handled soon. Very well. The matter pertaining to the gem is the main reason we brought you here. You've, You've seen had... their power firsthand. Yes. We? Oui. And more so, Mr. Palto let us know quite a bit about his studies with these gems. Each piece appears to have its own properties, its own piece of what ever this ancient creature was. If you Did are you that concerned with me having it, then, with your permission, I would leave it with him. Not in the palace. We can have that be set as one of the pieces going to the north. You may leave it with him personally, if you wish. He will no doubt find a secure place for it, as he carries one with him constantly. Well, why don't you send it a different direction? In which direction would you have me send it? To Silver Rock? No, west. To the land we just came back from. We know someone there who we can trust with our lives. And if we ask him to hide it and not tell us where it is, he'll do it. He'll do it. And know that he is he is an ally that I think you'd like. We would need to have a conference with this person in order to verify their abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Aswell just kind of looks over at Janir. Is that something you can set up? There are no teleportation circles in that palace. I checked before oh. we left. Oh, you no. Send, you could send a message to him. That's oh, what. Well, I definitely that's what, could. Then, then send a message to him. Send your missive. Although one thing concerns me. This is the first time we've seen one of these gems exhibit sentience or consciousness rather than just putting out exorbitant amounts of power. This is different. I want to learn more about what these gems are capable of. Then I request that you make your study with Mr. Palto. He has a looks towards the, deeper the understanding of these gems. Anything that you find, I request that you bring yes. back to us. Very well. You can report to Venario. Uh oh, hello? Still here. Hello? Sorry, my internet cuts out. No worries, dude. It's just kind of crossed the. If 
you can set Did up a meeting with your ally to the west, we would gladly meet with him. As you said, the more places we can spread these, the better. So far, we have two parcels and an additional parcel that will be going to the north. Now, that is everything that we had. If at all possible, leave the islands to the south out of this. They were never really in question. Good. You have my thanks. That Jim has caused enough trouble down there. I'll take your word for it. He extends his hands a little bit. That's why I'm here. I grabbed one of those when I was a kid. Brought me all the way to the mainland. Oh, yes. That reminds me. Master Highwind. Uh, we've had this held after your incarceration. We uh, decided to return it to you. Uh, Venariel walks out holding the Staff of Adornment. This was almost, on your person some time ago. Almost like greeting an old friend, Denier slowly reaches out to it for it. A large smile on my face. On his face. I've missed you. It took quite a bit of doing to get this out of Hackless's hand, so... How is you to hold on to it. Wait, Hackless! Yes, my, my brother. He's... Is he alive? <laughs> so it looks like for a second like, uh... Yes, very much so. He's, mm -hmm. uh... I mean, really? he's, he's, he's been sequestering himself, studying this new artifact he's found, but he's doing quite well. Really? Yes. Alive. <laughs> Asmo, I told you what I told you what happened whenever I saw the temple. He probably met Arkanos just like I did. <sighs> he didn't know, though. He's <laughs> been rambling about such. We thought he was mad are you are you telling me he actually met Arcanos? Denier reaches into his into his uh pouch and he pulls out the small crystal vial up to the north i found a i found a temple to Arcanos. i had some some friends up north as well they accompanied me i fought my way through a guardian that said that he was waiting for the time for that very day Upon defeating the Guardian, I walked in and I was taken to another realm. Within a crystal, I saw a fragment of Arcanos, and he gave me this. Liquid magic. The very liquid that created the arcane innate within this realm. And he also gave me this. And he shows his ring. An extension of his will. To guard, to guard my mind against that of the Bleeding God. It's quite the tale. Uh, to which uh, Tia responds, and it's all true. Or at the very least, he very much believes it is. It's my goal to go the rest of the way. He looks over towards Tia. I'm sure that you're aware that I believe that I know the location of Fleetfoot, and with his guidance and his permission, eventually I plan to go into the overgrowth to find Arkanos myself, to bring him back. So should the Bleeding God rise again, we'll have one more god than we had last time. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that, but I do wish your expedition, your eventual expedition much luck. In your nods. He's a kind man. I'm happy to know him. And he goes quiet again. With that, your 
all more than welcome to make the rest of the day what you will. I regret the troubles that you have faced in recent years. Hmm. May I request something? What might that be? Garrick. He may have been off duty, but he deserves full honors. Of course. For, for everything he was doing was for this city, whether or not they knew it. And also, with your permission, and as will bows his head, he had an article with him that is very personal to me and him that I would like back. I will see that his belongings are... Just one. Just one belonging. Which piece? A helmet. One he made for the purposes of helping the city. I would be forever in your debt if I may have that helmet. For your services to this kingdom, to this empire, I will see that it is delivered to you. So long as, as his brother does not require it. Then I thank you very much, Lady Tia, for hearing out my request. Uh, Horatia is actually taken slightly aback of your respect in that scenario. Oh, really, is he? Oh. Yeah. And guess, guess what? The duality of man is evident to you now, Horatius. Look, look upon your mortals and see their different colors. And just like that, Horatius' heart remained about the same size. That yeah, day. it's about the same size. About, about not much. It's still it, pretty it pumped big, an extra. He's it pumped. It, pump, it pumped an extra time though. Yeah. That's what's sweet. It, it, it dokied. It dokied a little. Didn't go full Ooh, doki. A little, doki. No, 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 that's not good. You always choose Tetris instead of doki. Mm. <laughs> Uh, with that, you are free to ask them any questions, but they are, uh, they've given you, <laughs> they've given you freedom to leave. Actually, I'm glad I remembered to ask for that. I'm told that a prisoner was brought in previously. Yes, a man claiming to be very well acquainted with the lot of you. Fezziwig Greenspire. Greenspire. You know what I, who I believe he is? Yes. I know full well what you believe. Is he? Was he? The Jester of Bordeaux? He certainly seems to believe so. I have not yet run my interrogations on the man. I... I am a little drained after our session. Be but cautious. I will be. If. I. I believe that. Well, you already know what I believe. The two entities, Fezziwig and the Jester, I believe that he was once one of the. A creature similar to the one that follows me, or follows the gym. I believe he gave in to the entity, whereas I did not. We will be taking all manners of caution with his interrogation. I shan't be the first to go in. Just to be on the safe side. Of course. It does bring me comfort to know that you've moved the gems. One of my concerns was that this was all a ploy just to get to the gems. Yes. Lord Horace here, he took it upon himself to make sure that a large parcel was shifted into a new area. And I trust him when he says it is secure. Then he gives a nod. He looks over towards Wolfgang or Asmo to see if they have any requests or anything to ask. 
speaking of this interrogation process. Yes. You seem to oversee it yourself, so you would know. Sometimes, in special cases, I do. What are the lasting effects? It depends on the individual and the amount of interrogation. Some can lose their sense of reality, and if I do not still my mind enough, some weaker of will can lose their minds. It was something I learned when I was younger. I've had to be delicate. And I need to be able to gauge the strength of those that I am interrogating before I do so. Otherwise, I can't trust the information I receive. It is difficult to balance how far one's mind can stretch before it's ready to snap. Mr. Highwind, are you... Are you still... I'm, I'm still here if you're asking. Not quite what I was asking, but a good enough answer. I did see something earlier today. A flash, if you will. Similar to the dreams that I began, began having once I went over to the West. City burning, people screaming... I I didn't see these dreams you speak of in your mind. Yes, what do you mean? Hail. When I went over to the west after the incident at Silver Rock, I began seeing things in my dreams. It used to be previously just walking through an ocean of blood every night, hiding from those creatures, but once I went over west, it shifted. The city burning, people screaming, people dying, and on top of the Whistlestein spire, a great clawed hand gripping the top of it, a beast with a great yellow eye. It stares into my soul for just a moment before it breathes in and exhales a gout of flame. And I usually wake up as it's ex exhaling a gout of flame. I've been having the dream for weeks now. And I'm not sure if it's due to the dreams, the creature, or what, but... They've begun, at least this afternoon, I saw a flash of it. This revelation. It is of note. We will we'll have to proceed with caution in all things. Insight. Please. Yeah, I want to insight as well. I trust them. Fifteen. Wolfgang? A not great. Eleven. Her face doesn't give anything away. You can tell that she is genuine when she says that uh, she didn't see these visions that you mentioned uh, when she was probing your mind. But uh, she there there is obvious concern in her voice as she looks over to Horaish who sort of nods back, but as to what she is referring to uh, in preparation of, you're just assuming that uh, they're planning on vetting the people who are overseeing the ceremony to bring her brother back just a bit, uh, a bit harsher. Allow me, if you will, Denier, once again, major image, a large crystal ball in the middle of the room right in front of Horatio and Tia. And within the crystal ball, he will play the dream. As Daenerys always sees it for everybody. This is the first time the lot of you see it. You see from Daenerys' point of view, running through the streets of Dragon's Rest, the sky smoky black, but the horizon red as fire. Looking around, left, right, citizens screaming, running for their lives as burnings, 
as buildings burn. Uh, you see rocks tumble from the sky as you look up. You see a great figure perched atop the Whistlestein spire, claws raking the side of its uh, of its vaunted roof. Great yellow eyes staring down at you, slitted as it wrings its long serpentine neck back and brings it back down. A torrent of flame overtakes the crystal as it shatters in the illusion. And Daenerys looks over towards Wolfgang. Now you see why I like to escape into the realm of dreams rather than see these every single night. Did that creature look familiar at all? It looked dragonoid. Like Draconid. Hmm. The shape of it. Having seen uh, Bahamut and Bahum in their full dragon form, the shape and silhouette was very similar. It also pushed me to do this mission and get the, the lily faster to return as quick as I could. Well, we shall just have to hope that this was a series of bad dreams and nothing too prophetic. We we'll have to so. move forward as we have, but with great caution. Thank you for this revelation. Denir gives a bit of a bow. Raish. Hmm. You said you were working on a project. Yeah. Something to put Kench back in his place. And what might that be? Just a little, uh... A little armament of our ranks, let's say. We've lost a number of troops in the past few, uh... Weeks. We just need something to even the odds with their sheer numbers up north. I hate to say it, but they do outnumber us three to one. So you're looking to bolster your numbers? Yeah. How? If you really want to know, we'll be having a demonstration in about a week. I look forward to it. That's not ominous. I believe that's all. Then, feel free to be on your way. I've got a... Uh... More oversight to make. And hey, if you get in touch with your ally from the West, let him know I'd be happy to meet with him. Um, be sure to keep you two in communication with each other. I'll send up the message early, uh, later on this evening. Good. Before I deal with Kinch. And what Denier exactly, has... Uh, yeah, never mind. Keep me surprised. Like I said, Horatio... The land of dreams is my domain. And Denier will see himself out. Ah, uh, Wolfgang will leave as well. All right, everybody sees themselves out. Back onto the streets of Dragon's Rest. We have to check on Fallwood Barrow and on Amber Glade. Sooner the better. First things first, I'm taking that crystal to Palto. Just bury it in some random backyard and not tell anybody. Yeah, the thing about that I mean, is Jim's people get curious. So you're going to head back to your place and get the gem? Yeah. 
Denier will not go within 50 feet of that house. Alright. He just hangs out and waits. You stay what? just outside Wolfgang's front gate. Yep. As Wolfgang, you go in and you uh, make your way down to your cellar where you find the patch of rock that you embedded the stone into. How do you intend to get it out? Hmm. What are you guys thinking? Well. Because you had T-Wig uh, to use stone shape to get it in there. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, do I have any tools, like a sledgehammer around the house? Just you have, a, you have a gardening shed where you keep a bunch of tools, and you probably have some rock-breaking equipment in that. Yeah, I'll probably get like a a chisel or something and a sledgehammer and just go to town for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Jamat, seeing what you're doing. Uh, going for a little bit of renovation there, sir. Something like that. Righto. I, uh, let me know if you need anything. Mm hmm. By the way, have you seen you? Uh, he hasn't returned since last night, I'm afraid. Went out, probably, trying to figure out what exactly happened with Master T-Wig. I'd like to know that as well. Well, I'll let you know if I hear anything from him. And if you do, please let me know as well. Absolutely, sir. He heads back to doing his chores. Yep, sort of. Wolfgang then proceeds to John Wick open this fucking stone. All right, athletics check. Great. Three. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, you, you're at you're at this for a bit. Um, Asmo, what are you up to in all this? Asmo's just he's just hanging out. Asmo's very quiet. Like Asmo just had like his friend just died. He's fucking. He's really. He's not a chipper fella. So he's just kind of got his arms crossed, staring. He's being that. He's being that anime character today. Asmo, you're just lounging about. Uh, Jamat. Gives you some lunch. He gives you uh, what appears to be a just like tea sandwiches. Uh, Aswell's gonna write a letter um, to um, Yorick. Yeah, he's gonna write a letter to Yorick, and uh, goes along the lines of like this: Yorick, I don't know to the full extent of what Garrick told you about what he was up to at night off the books. I helped him out from time to time with his investigations because I had a personal stake into the dead eyes. When I didn't fully tell him, but a man I was starting to see Garrick as was the one who killed him. I watched it. I was there to be lookout, but Unfortunately, I didn't see this coming. And now he's gone. And I don't know what to do or say about that. All I want to do is do right by him. And he said he wanted to get to the bottom of what was going on in this city, and that's what I'm going to do. And now it's twice as personal as it once was. He always proclaimed that anonymity was the key to winning this for justice. While the laws could help guide justice, justice to a certain degree requires interpretation or abject analysis. All he wanted to do was get to the bottom of what was going on and pass it along to the right authorities. He used a mask to hide his movements. And I ask for that mask to continue what he was doing. It should be on his persons at the time of his untimely end. And when I personally wear this mask and kill the man who killed your brother, the man who tried to kill me twice and failed two times over, no. 
that with that mask, your brother's visage, his vision for what he wanted, will be staring him in the eyes as the light goes out of his single eye. To this I swear. To this I vow. And may this be my only vow I ever give. Sincerely, Asmo, one eye. That's my letter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you, as you write that out and you seal it, uh, Wolfgang, it's been a couple hours as Asmo was coming together with his draft. And you, fi- you finally <sighs> chipped through and you can finally see the edges of the gem. <laughs> just fucking Eldritch blasts the rest of the stone away from That's it. about right. <laughs> Why don't you just press edition, uh, press edition, pre- pred- predication it away? You're just like, fuck it, bang, and boom! It's not that simple. <laughs> Blow fuck up a it. chunk of the cave. I right, don't you, you give got, a shit anymore. <laughs> you, got, you got the gem out of your now be cratered wall. <laughs> Wait, no, this is just a ruby. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> a ruby, hot damn. Gotta go my Wait a minute, what else is in me walls? <laughs> what, in me walls? Oh, hold me oh, lucky charms. Turn, turn off to me precious stones. <laughs> Hide me gems in the walls. Hide you to me. There we go, good. It's fine, we're all of Irish descent, we can do this. All right, so you got you got the, uh, you got the gem. And Asmo has his letter all written. <sighs> Vulcan, take it. I immediately make my way to Ramsey's portal. Wolfgang Wolfgang comes back out of the uh, cellar asthma as you're finishing up your letter. He is just covered in sweats and rock dust. (sighs) (sighs) Tea sandwich, sir. He just wordlessly hobbles over to it, takes one. It's cucumber and cream. Let Fresh from the garden. Huh. It's light, refreshing. Mm. All right. He just, hold, he just holds it up, holds it up like thanks. <laughs> and you make you make your way back out, uh, Denier. It's it's been a couple hours. You've just been standing there within fifty feet of his house. He's just been sitting there, uh, you know, just goofing off to himself. He has sent a couple sending messages since then. Oh, okay. Uh, let me he's, know who you sent sending to, and I can let you know if... Uh... All right. First message he sent to Dogood himself. Um, Dogood, it's Denier. The dragons of the east are wanting to meet with you, potentially to give you something to safeguard. Also, good job with Kench. How are you he doing? Replies. He replies, Oh, hey, head voice! <laughs> Where are you? I don't see you. Chop, chop, um, me. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I'll meet with the dragons. Say, wants like a fight or something? I had like a fight in a bit. We uh, knocked down that dam, and now there's a uh, lot of angry orcs. <laughs> uh oh. Well, wherever they get over it, water's flowing again. And uh, runs out of space. <laughs> so you can assume he's still replying in his own head. Oh, man, that's rough, buddy. Second he doesn't know, message. He doesn't know how sending works. Second <laughs> message. He gets done writing a fucking novel and then... <laughs> second, uh, second sending message. The so dragon that's going to be meeting with you is the head of our military. Strong bloke. Don't know if he wants to fight. You have 25 words to reply. Uh, he replies back, hey, Spock's been doing this. Ca- oh, oh, you're interrupting me. All right, I see here he is. Anyway, we're still going to... half of it. No, he's out. Oh, God, he's out again. <laughs> what do you mean, 24? 25- All right. <laughs> I, don't and... know if it's a good, I don't know if it's a good idea we left Homer Simpson in charge of one quarter of the continent, guys. I think that might have been... Yeah, he's just a god now. It... What, what's the word? No! It'll be fine. Uh, third message. I send a message to Red Screech. Okay. Whee! I 
don't know. The prof the prophecy has been fulfilled. Vander has fallen. The water flows. The Dogood now rules. Uh, you, you get a reply back. So I have seen. You have done a great service for our land. The water has returned. Soon, so shall life. Thank. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh, need to. Sending. I really need to teach these people how to use sending. And what time oh, of day is sending. it? Uh, it's uh, early evening. Like the the sun. Well, I, I'd say it's like early afternoon. Actually, you okay. guys had breakfast at the meat house. All right. And Denier will just he'll hang out for a little bit. Um, he'll accompany Wolfgang towards. Uh, the old company Wolfgang to the Institute for the Arcane Innate. All right. Um, Asmo, are you just getting your letter posted? Yeah, no, Asmo's just writing the letter, just reading it over to make sure that this is the right thing he wants to say. All right. Uh, Wolfgang and Denier, as you make your way to the School for the Arcane Innate, uh, you actually see Miguel kind of patrolling the grounds, asking questions of some of the students, uh, along with, uh, which student did I have with him? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Pogan is there, the dwarven cleric of the Kylum Diaboli. And, doo -doo -doo. come on, I know I had a student with them. Damn, my notes. There we go. Enoch, Enoch Baker, the young brown-haired hey. halfling male with the stubbly beard. He was the one that uh, used a crossbow. So you see them as you uh, enter the grounds. Miguel notices that you're there, Wolfgang, and... Oh! Hi, right, cousin! Miguel. Oh. Good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Hogan walks up to you. Oh, there he is! Oh, it's been a while. Glad your cousin was around to take care of things. He's a right dick not, kicker, this one. Not, someone has my, to be. Not my words exactly, but I learned to take it as a compliment. You're here to help us with the investigation. I actually have something to take care of first. Uh, dragon business. Well, more than uh be happy to have you join us afterwards, and, uh, no. Hey, Denier. Miguel, uh, who you haven't seen in quite some time, Denier. Been a while. Yes, you're looking good. Uh, doing my best. Just, uh, trying to fill in for this one's shoes while he's out saving the world, I guess. Oh, you should have seen the, the adventures we have had. I have heard quite a few tales, and I only wonder how many of them have been embellished. I know how the whole hunt talk goes. <laughs> oh, you think I'm you think I'm faking it, huh? I think you're faking some of it. Check this out. And I'll I'll summon crescendo. Nice sword. I'm told this belonged to Connolly's of old. Family heirloom. No. Oh. Yep, I'll ignite it with my with my holy fire. Your eyes become pools of burning white fire as the blade woof, ignites for a moment. <laughs> well, that is a pretty blade. Boy, it burns with the light of life. Oh, such a beauty. Pogan's just kind of like staring at the dancing flames at the edge of the blade. I call it Crescendo. A fitting name. I could almost hear its psalms. Either way, you're, uh, you're here on other pressing business, I take it. Right. And he'll, <laughs> he'll clear his throat and dispel Crescendo for the moment. Shunk. Back into the pocket dimension it goes. 
All right, well, we'll be continuing our investigation down here. Let us know right. if you uh, learn anything while you're up there, if uh, you happen to be so inclined. All right. Now, Will do. We? I'll try to swing by. He nods at you as he uh, carries on back over to one of the students. I want to help him, Wolfgang. I help build this school. If something's happening to my students, I want to find out what happened. I imagine as much. I've got my own students on it. All right. You make your way inside to the uh, office of Ramses Palto. Ah, hello, gentlemen. How are you doing today? It's Mr. been a while, Connell. Mr. Connolly. It has been. <clears throat> shifty eyes, shifty eyes. Yep. Bump, bump. So, what brings you to my office? Are you here to assist well, with the other members of your guild? Ah, uh, not... Denier. Pleasure to have you as always. Denier gives a tired nod. Happy to be back. My lord, what have they done to you? Be careful, Ramses. That's all I have to say. They know now, don't they? I don't know what they know and what they don't. Then I'll just have to assume they know everything. I think I saw it. Or saw I think, it. At least I think I had audience with it at one point. The creature? I think so. The Adrix creation. I woke up one day, I woke up in a cell chained to this iron table with something behind me. It made noises like the others. I couldn't see it. I don't know if it was real or if it's not. I could hear its voice in my head saying that it wanted to find more secrets. I don't know if it was real. I don't know if it wasn't real. Hell, I don't even know if I'm still out of the interrogation or not at the moment. But be cautious. She voiced caution about you. Just like you voiced caution about her. So at this point, I don't know what to think. I think you should be cautious regardless, Denia. Follow your instincts. They've served you well so far. Then you nod slowly. I understand why there might be a reason not to trust me. You should always look out for yourself, Denier. It was the greatest lesson I ever learned in life. But I can feel that there's something else that you're here for. Mr. Connolly right. in your pocket. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out the gem. It's a rocket in your pocket. Yes, the this that you came back with. Yes, this one is rather peculiar. How so? I haven't pertained all of its abilities, but I feel like something from it follows me. I'm not presence, sure. If it... Is it something that you can see? Denier starts trying to look around him. Because I will tell you right now, I don't see anything here. He sort of nods to you knowingly, Denier. Hmm. Interesting. I do not see anything at the moment, nor have I heard anything for a little bit. We know. didn't see it at first either, but it made its presence known to us soon enough. Denier, was it ever able to hide from you? Um, as far as I know, he, whenever he does quote unquote hide, he likes to hide very, very tiny at the base of my skull. Behind you or inside? 
behind, from what I've heard. Lower your cloak and turn around. He tops the cloak, pops the cloak, turns around. You can feel Ramsey's kind of brushed through the back of your hair. I also felt something very sharp poke me in the base of the skull whenever I was being interrogated as well. Do you see any kind of marks? I'll detect uh, magic. All right, go ahead. Uh, you can see the innate magic in Ramsey's blood as you do so. Uh, you also Ooh. see his robes that are magical and his staff. And, of course, the magic red orb at the end of said staff. Ramsey's doing a medical check on you. I see some slight bruising, nothing more than what would appear to be slight blunt force trauma. Could be when I was starting to wake up or quote-unquote wake up. Or if you fell, it's hard to really say. These marks could be from anything. I haven't... I don't know if when he spoke to me during the interrogation if that was him talking to me or if that was Tia talking to me. But the last time I saw him, him, was during the fight with Vander when I called uh, a giant rock and it came to aid me. I looked at him and I made a snide comment to him and he looked very cross. I haven't heard anything from him since. Well, we can do our studies on this particular rock, but I don't sense any consciousness coming from it. We'll have to assume the worst case scenario that whatever it's this. Yes, that whatever this creature was. It's no longer tied to this particular piece. Perhaps it's found a way to move. Between the gems. Which means anybody that takes a gem would have to show extreme caution with it. Yes. Then the near starts thinking. When I was under interrogation, he thanked me. Almost like we freed him of some kind. That may have been the last time that he spoke to me before he left. We'll have to keep our eyes open, Demir. Same to you, Mr. Connolly. I fear something bad is coming. And here is where we will end today's session. <laughs>